welcome back to Miss Free Reads. I'm Miss Free, and this week we have a new story. The author writes the story, the illustrator draws the picture. We got the front, ah, we got the back, ah, we got the spine, ah. The title of the story is Mousetronaut, written by astronaut Mark Kelly. He's an astronaut. That is so cool. And illustrated by C.F. Payne. I get to read this story with permission from the publishers, Simon and Schuster. Mousetronaut by astronaut Mark Kelly. Wow, this book was written by a real astronaut? Oh my goodness, that's so cool. The space shuttle is set for a launch and the astronauts are doing their last minute training to prepare for the mission. NASA is sending along some special guests for this flight and they're training too. One mouse is smaller than all the rest. His name is Meteor. The other mice know he won't be chosen for this important mission. But someone has his eye on Meteor, and he's impressed with the little mouse's hard work. The shuttle commander announces that six mice will be selected for the flight. He picks five of the biggest, strongest mice. But for the sixth spot... To everyone's surprise, he chooses Meteor. Look, he's so shocked. Everyone's surprised. All six are taken to their new home, a special cage called the Mouse Hotel. The other mice are nervous as the countdown begins, but not Meteor. Wow, he's brave. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift off! At first, the mice are pressed flat against their cages by the power of the launch, but then the pressure goes away. The other mice cling to their cage in terror, but not Meteor. He loves the feeling of weightlessness. Hey, little guy, the commander says, you're a natural, a real live mousetronaut. Meteor is taken from his cage and gets a tour of the shuttle. He can even see the earth way off in the distance. The astronauts are all very busy during the 14-day flight. There are spacewalks to take and experiments to conduct. But what can Meteor do to help? Then, while answering the email, one of the astronauts notices the key to the control panel stuck between the monitors. When he tries to get it out, it accidentally gets wedged further down. This isn't good, says the commander. We need that key back. One astronaut tries to move the monitor. It doesn't budge. Another slips her fingers into the crack. The key is stuck down too deep. One even tries pushing it out with a long piece of metal, but with no luck, no one can reach it. The astronauts are getting worried, but as they discuss the problem, a tiny figure has an idea. Being the smallest isn't a bad thing, Meteor says to himself. Maybe I can be useful on this flight. Meteor squeezes his way into the crack, the space is dark and cramped, but Meteor spots the key and tugs at it with all his might. Hey, look at what our tiny friend has done, the commander says. He saved the mission. When the shuttle returns to Earth, Meteor is declared a hero. He's even given a brand new uniform and an official title, Maustronaut. All the astronauts cheer and applaud. Yeah! But Meteor is already thinking about his next big mission. The end. And that's the end of our story, my little bookworms. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. 
I bet I enjoyed it more than you did. I bet I enjoyed it more than you did. I bet I did. This story was awesome. Remember, reading is a magical adventure that could take you anywhere you want to go. So keep reading and exploring new worlds. Until next time, for all my friends, subscribe and like, comment what book you'd like to hear next. Mess free reads! Mess free reads! Mess free reads! Stay curious and spread the joy.